now we are in, I believe, Slovenia. Let me just confirm. Yep, Slovenia with a piquette. Um, for those of y'all that are kind of new to either our wine club or newer to the wine space, um, piquette technically isn't actually wine. Um, it is uh, grape, basically leftover grape must. So after they press the grapes to create their wine, um, they rehydrate those grape skins. And there's kind of some native yeast already floating around in there. So it um, referments and creates this piquette. So we kind of like it, you know, it's a little kind of sustainable because you're reusing uh, must from grapes that you've already pressed. Um, but it is a little bit lighter. I bet this thing's like 7% alcohol. Yep, 7% alcohol. So a little bit lighter to the touch. Um, sometimes can drink a little bit more like a sour beer. We'll see with this one. Um, but really looking forward to, forward to trying it. I don't know how lively this is going to be, so this could be exciting. Typically with the Piquettes or any sparkling wine, you know, we're going to open it real slow and just go ahead and open. Perfect. So it's got a pretty interesting like off-white, like an eggshell type color almost. Um, really nice bubbles there. This Piquette. I think it'll drink really light, really easy, like a poolside sipper kind of. It's almost like kind of on that like more watermelon, like candied type scale. I just said like lychee on the last one, but I feel like now this one's a little bit more lychee-like. Mm, yeah, great. Lovely mouthfeel, nice and light. Um, it's like gotta be like 90% humidity right now. And this is like the exact thing I want to be drinking when it's, you know, not too high alcohol. Maybe you're hanging out with some friends or whatever. Serve it super cold, and I think this would be a really great, just like, day drinker, honestly. Good acid. Some of that like watermelon, guava, Niji notes kind of comes through on the back too. Not a ton of body, and you wouldn't really expect a lot of structure from a Piquette, right? Because it's it's really just, you know, re-fermented grape must. So um, I think you guys really like this one, and I hope you enjoy. Oh, also the producer is Gabernick. So, in case you're wondering. Enjoy.